How's it going, everyone? My name is Birdimus, and welcome back to Tab's Madness. Today, we're going to be looking at the second half of the secret faction to see who is going to be our other top contender going on into the finals. We now have our lineup for the second half of the secret faction units bracket. Let's see who takes it to the finals. Our first matchup has our number 15 seed, the Bank Robbers, at 850 points versus our number 18 seed, the Cheerleader, coming in at 800 points. This is going to be an interesting matchup. What's interesting about this one is that the Cheerleader is meant to be a supportive unit. It's meant to boost other units. I don't know if it does a whole lot on its own, but we're certainly going to find out right now, especially if it can avoid being immediately smashed by the bank as the bank robbers toss it at the cheerleader. Will it survive? No. Bank robbers move on to the next matchup because big old heavy bank full of money. Our second matchup is a tale of two time periods with our number seven seed, the Shogun, coming in at 2,800 points versus our number 26 seed, the teacher, coming in at only 200 points. Both of these are melee units professing to be masters at swords. Which one will be the most adept? All right, we have our contestants rolling into battle. Now, we know the teacher unit can have some dodges going on. Will that be enough to save him and get enough blows in to take out the Shogun? Or the Shogun's just gonna jump right in and go for the face? Shogun moves on to the next round of matchups. Our next matchup starts us off with our number 10 seed, the Gatling Gun, coming in at a big 2,000 points. Versus our number 23 seed, the Choco New Unit, coming in at 300 points. Who is going to win best of ranged? Now, these are both ranged units. The question is, which one is going to get within range first and start firing? That could be the crucial moment. The Gatling gun has started to spin up, but the Choco No unit gets off a bunch of volleys of arrows way quicker, and the Gatling gun goes down. Choco No, you move on to the next round of matches. Our next matchup starts us off with our number three seed, the Tree Giant, coming in at 4,000 points, versus our number 30 seed, the Ballooner, coming in at only 90 points. Now, will the Tree Giant just swat the Ballooner out of the air, or will the Ballooner be able to pull some trickery and be able to pull off a win? All right, here we go. The Giant comes stomping in, ready for battle, the Ballooner, minuscule in comparison, charges in and gets ready to attempt to do some kind of damage, Tree Giant just says no. <laughs> Tree Giant has smashed his way into the next round of matchups. Tree Giant moves on. Our next matchup starts us off with our number 14 seed, the Vlad Unit, coming in at 1,000 points versus our number 19 seed, the Mace Spinner, coming in at only 500 points. Half the cost, but will he be able to do enough damage in time to take out Vlad? All right, our units are approaching. Our Mace Spinner seems to have mobility and agility on his side, but Vlad does have the reach with that big weapon of his. Will he be able to do enough damage in time to stop the Mace Spinner before the Mace Spinner is able to swing enough? The answer is yes. Vlad has decimated his way and impaled a victory here. Our next matchup starts us off with our number six seed, the Samurai Giant, coming in at 3,000 points, versus our number 27 seed, the Raptor, coming in at only 200 points. Will Jurassic World be enough to take over a Samurai Dynasty? Raptor certainly has speed and agility, but it don't think it has the HP to survive very long, but Oh, I was really hoping that he had tripped up the giant, but no, the giant just gives a mighty kick and just kicks the raptor to death. The giant definitely moves on to the next round of matchups. Our next matchup has us starting off with our number 11 seed, the cavalry unit, coming in at 1,800 points versus our number 22 seed, the executioner, coming in at only 350 points. Horse units have been disruptive in the past for sure. The question is, will the, <laughs> will the cavalry be able to take out the executioner? And the answer is yes, 
he literally just pushed him off the map and almost ran off himself at the very end, but still secured a spot in the semifinal matchups. Our first round of matchups in the semifinals for the second half of the Secret Units faction starts us off with our winner from the first matchup, the Bank Robber Unit, versus our number two seed for the Secret Faction bracket, the Ice Giant, coming in at a titanic 6,000 points. Will this safe? Thrown by these two units be enough damage to slow down the ice giant so they may get in <laughs> and get some hits the answer is no ice giants just stupid powerful ice giants moving on to the finals for these rounds of matchups our next semi-final match has the winner of the second matchup the shogun unit versus the winner of our third matchup the choco no unit will the rapid fire be enough to slow down the shogun enough to secure a victory all right our opponents are approaching each other now we know the shogun has the ability to jump right in and start slicing and dicing the question is will the range be oh he is deflecting the arrows the shogun just says no to the choco nu and takes his place in the finals for this second half of the secret faction bracket our next semi-final matchup starts us off with the winner of our number four matchup the tree giant versus the winner of our fifth matchup vlad the impaler and the powerful will he be able to actually impale the tree giant before just getting smooshed all right our units are approaching each other they're both slow moving and very very targeted units but will the tree giant be able to immediately smash vlad the answer is yes wow that is a powerful tree Considering Vlad was holding a stick twice as long as that tree even was, that's some power behind that swing. Our last semi-final match here starts us off with the winner of our sixth matchup, the Samurai Giant, versus the winner of our seventh matchup, the Cavalry Unit. Will speed be enough to take down the Samurai Giant? In a tale reminiscent of Jack and the Beanstalk, we see our unit on horseback charging in, immediately taking a couple swings at the Samurai Giant. Samurai Giant now flipping and pushes the cavalry unit off the map. Wow, that was an outcome I did not see coming, but man, what an impressive finish for the Samurai Giant. Coming into our final matchups here, we have the Ice Giant versus the Shogun. Again, Giants are starting to sweep this entire side of the Secret Units faction. Will the Shogun be able to do enough damage and stay on the map long enough to even consider doing any harm to the Ice Giant in order to secure his victory? The answer is no. The Ice Giant just kind of pushed him through the cracks and said, see you later. I'm moving on. It is now nothing but Giants. Tree Giant versus the Samurai Giant. Who will win to take on the Ice Giant to see who is going to be the best 1v1 unit for the second half of the Secret Faction bracket? Tree Giant getting some big swings in, Samurai Giant trying his best to get some sword hits in, and falls off the map. Oh my goodness. It seems that these Giants are having a very difficult time with this map in general. Samurai Giant, see you later, pal. Tree Giant moves on to take on the Ice Giant. This is it. The last matchup. Who will reign supreme to represent the second half of the secret units here? Will it be the Titanic Ice Giant or the startling but very powerful Tree Giant wielding a weapon? Who's going to be better? The Ice Giant just punches the Tree Giant straight off the map. It says, see you later, pal. <laughs> Ice Giant for the win. Wow. Now that was impressive. There you have it. The final matchups for the second half of the Secret Units faction with the Ice Giant securing his spot alongside Artemis to represent the Secret faction in the finals for Tab's Madness. Make sure you don't miss out in the next episode where we start putting all of our finalists from every faction against each other to determine who 
is the best individual 1v1 unit in all of Tabs.